Dawson, guys like Isaiah, Dane have, have used the word numb as kind of a way to describe yet another season of, of not reaching the pinnacle. Do you share that sentiment of, of it just repeatedly kind of just falling short? Yeah, I guess that is a good um, word for it. Um, just so many emotions all at the same time and then, you know, just a lot of disappointment, um, a lot of sadness, you know, you're not going to the team will look completely different next year. Um, you know, you, there's always going to be a couple teammates you might be closer to that might not be here. Um, and just working all year for the same goal and then just coming up short again is very frustrating. Um, but, you know, then again, you learn a lot of things about yourself through times like this. And um, it's going to give us a lot of good uh, things to build on and things to learn from moving forward. Daughter, and I asked Isaiah about, you know, what I don't know, I'm sitting here asking the same question. We've got the players, we've got the coaches. Um, I guess what's what's your uh, response to Yeah, that? I think that's the I mean that's the golden question, you know. I think everyone's kinda asking themselves that. Um, and that's something that we can evaluate over the next month, two months, you know, all the way through until next season starts. Yeah. Um, and we have incredible people in this building from top to bottom. Um, and they're gonna do a great job figuring that out. Um, you know, our, our locker room super close. We love our coaches. Um, we love the leadership of this team. So um, I don't think there's any one thing that pops out immediately, but that's why, you know, it's an important question because um, it'll, it'll take some digging to get to the bottom of it. But um, I think I'm speaking for the full, for the whole locker room when we, when I say that we have faith in the people trying to fix the problems. Um, you know, I've definitely learned how much I love and respect my teammates. Um, you know, they've been there through everything that's happened this season. Um, been very thankful for, um, you know, that group of guys in that locker room and then the coaches too. Um, you know, from Sean to my tight end coach, Rob Boris, to Coach Dorsey, um, They've all been there um, for me and for the whole team through everything, and not just as a player, but as a person. And that's what um, is so incredible about this building is that you know there's there really is that genuine love that people have for each other here, and it makes it have that family atmosphere, which is pretty amazing. Austin, the, the yards and the points were there most of the season for the offense, but and I'm just wondering if you would agree with this assessment. It felt like it was more difficult at times, where there were quarters or series uh, that, that you, know, you weren't having the success that maybe you had been accustomed to. I know not every game is going to be perfect, but do you agree that it just did feel more difficult at times offensively uh, for large portions of this season? Yeah. Um, I mean, I also think that's every season in the NFL. Um, no matter what team you're on, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times that are more difficult mm -hmm. to move the ball to score. Um, but that's also something that's kind of hard to put your finger on one specific thing. Um, you know, I mean, there were times that I struggled personally throughout the year um, with different things. But um, as an offense, I think it's, you know, everyone has to be doing their 111th every play perfectly to execute, to move the ball down the field, to score points. And that's what we strive for. Um, but in terms of pointing out one particular thing that kind of causes us to stall out from time to time, it's kind of hard to. Um, put your finger on something but then again you know we got all off season to look at that and figure out what that might have been and uh, um, fix it moving forward. You know it's been pretty awesome just to see the resiliency of this team um, the things that we've had to overcome and the manner in which we've done it has been um, Pretty encouraging, I think. You know, um, especially me personally, after losing my brother earlier, or I guess last year now, um, just having that support system of this staff, these coaches, and these you know players around me, just to be there to have my back and lift me up in the hard times. Um, something that you know I can't understate my gratitude for, um, or I can't overstate it. So um, definitely thankful for everybody here. Micah and 
Roger Bull said they felt maybe the team just kind of ran out of gas with everything that happened this year, and obviously with you personally, but maybe even more so with what you went through. Didn't have a break, maybe needed that break near the end of the year to kind of reset. Do you feel like that's the case? Um, yeah, I mean, it did feel like we just kind of stalled from an energy standpoint um, yesterday. I mean, the energy was definitely there to start the game. Yep. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, I guess going down 14-0 early, um, just kind of a there, – there were a handful of things that just felt like they were compounding. And then, you know, just – it did feel like we kind of ran out of gas. And I don't know exactly why that is. I don't know if it's because of the point differential early, because they started fast and we didn't. Um, you know, you could – look at all the things we've had to overcome and maybe you could say those were in the back of our mind as well but um, it's another thing we're, we're just going to have to evaluate as the months go on from here. Steph seemed to really struggle with it yesterday obviously you know, I think we talked about you know, when you're competitive you want the ball it's, it's tough to, to lose if you talk to Steph what's, what's it been like you know trying to be there for a guy? Yeah um, he's just uh, you know he's an ultimate competitor he wants the ball in his hands every chance he can get it because he knows how good he is um, and you know we know how good he is too and you know the more we get him the ball the better we'll do um, you know but I think we, we got his back through it too obviously emotions are will run high in games like yesterday and especially as the season's coming to an end um, but you know it's in no way is he a bad teammate or anything um, you know sometimes <coughs> Football's emotional, and I can't blame him for that. Um, and he's just a competitor, so um, we're thankful to have him on the team. Came in with Devin Seaman too. Uh, this contract is up, got the extension. So what is what is that for them? Or my potentially not having Devin Seaman to in the building that when he came in? Yeah, obviously, we would love to keep him. Um, I have no idea what that looks like. You know, thankfully, it's not my job to worry about it. Um, you know, but I love the guy. He's an incredible football player, an incredible person. Um, you know, we just finished up year four together, so I'd love for that to keep going. Um, if it was up to me, he'd be here. Um, but yeah, I guess you know, thankfully, I don't have to make those decisions. How, how nice is it for you to know that you're here? Contract stuff is done. You can kind of go into this off season knowing this is where your roots are. Where you're going to be for a while. Yeah, um, yeah. Couldn't be more thankful to be locked in here. Um, I want to be here my entire career. You know, I would have signed a 10-year extension if they would have given it to me. Um, so definitely thankful to already to move past that and not have to worry about it. I think that's just one of those things that will come with time because um, right now, you know, no one can really put a finger on it. Um, and just talking with the guys in the locker room, I think everyone's on the same page of just not really knowing exactly what it was. Um, but, you know, it might be something that will be more clear as the time goes on from here. What has a postseason approach been like this year compared to past postseason approaches? Almost identical. Um, you know, they've done an incredible job of having a consistent, um, you know, set of standards that we want to meet. Um, we have the playoff caliber, you know, thing going all year. And then when playoffs hit, you know, we want to be championship caliber. And that's um, just setting that standard um, every day in what we do. Um, but it wasn't anything different this year compared to last year. Good. All right. Thank you all. Thanks.